Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the latest in Acropovic's performance pipe on the GTS 300 HPE. This pipe fits pretty much the GTS 250 starting in 2006 all the way up to the latest HPE equipped GTS 300 Super. They made some styling changes. You can see my prior video on the changes and the two different variations they make of this pipe, along with the little carbon fiber header guard that we'll also install. So you'll only need one specialized tool along with just basic hand tools to install this exhaust system. I'd start with a 3 8 or quarter inch ratchet set. You'll need a 12 millimeter socket, a 17 millimeter socket along with an extension, and a T40 Torx driver. And I'd recommend having one that attaches to a 3 8 or quarter inch drive extension. And a specialized tool you're gonna need is a spring puller. And to use this, you can hook onto the spring and pull the spring. You could improvise with a pair of channel locks or a vice grip, but this tool works quite well. We sell this on our web store, scooterwest.com, and it's tool-spring. An optional tool, but highly recommended, such as when we install this in our own service center, I'd recommend having a wobble 10 millimeter on a quarter inch drive with an extension. The idea is I want to loosen up the header that's the header that stays behind with the engine so I can get the perfect positioning when I install the exhaust pipe. If you opt to install the accessory heat shield, two additional tools are needed, a three millimeter Allen and a T25 Torx driver. So first step is to remove your stock exhaust system. Take the 17 millimeter socket and find the header clamp that's located between the mid pipe of the stock exhaust. Keep in mind this is cool. You don't wanna um, do this job while everything's scalding hot and go ahead and loosen the clamp. I would say just loosen enough till where the clamp wants to rotate around. So a couple, you know, maybe two, three turns, clamp's loose enough to pull the exhaust system off. Then move on to using your T40 Torx driver, preferably on a ratchet handle, 3 8 drive here. And go ahead and just do a quarter turn on all three of these fasteners. Make sure you're quite square with the fastener because um, even though the Torx drive is a little more resilient to, um, than a standard Allen drive or a Phillips screwdriver, it is possible to strip them out. So now that they're all loose, you can just go around each of the fasteners and pull them all the way out. Move on to the last one. And you may need to put a little pressure on the bottom of the exhaust so you can easily turn the screws and remove them. And I'm holding the exhaust system because it wants to drop when you pull the last fastener out. And just go ahead and pull the pipe kind of 45 degree angle towards the back right corner of the, the scooter and we'll pull right away from the header. This is an optional but highly recommended robot step is to loosen the header just slightly so you can rotate the header get the best positioning of the mid pipe on the Acropovic exhaust system. So if you reach around with a 10 millimeter socket, uh, preferably on a wobble, and there's a pair of nuts that hold the flange for the header to the, the cylinder head. And they only need to be loosened just enough where you could just rotate the uh, header. See how that header will move? So we're gonna leave it just like that until we get the complete exhaust system installed. So if you're looking to gain more top speed out of your HPE Equip GTS, check out the item. I think it's uh, GTS HPE Speed. We'll have it up on the screen, but you replace this tone wheel on the rear ABS sensor. I do have a video on installation of this tone wheel. Uh, increases the top speed of the scooter by about eight, almost 10 miles per hour, and corrects the speed away, so you have an indication of actually what you're going and not something that's grossly inaccurate. So part number for the latest and greatest 
Akropovic exhaust system for the GTS 300 is PMAC-07, or if you're looking for the all black version, PMAC-07-BK. For the heat shield kit, part number PMAC-01-SHIELD. You can find this on our web store, scooterwest.com. It's an optional accessory that works with the new Akropovic exhaust system. So make sure you have a genuine article. It's got the hologram right here. The only thing we sell here at Scooter West. You're gonna have a couple sets of instructions and also the warranty along with some other homogulation paperwork for other markets. Do keep in mind uh, some areas you're not supposed to be using aftermarket exhaust. I don't know the laws state by state, city by city. You also find the header mid pipe and take extra care not to run a knife too far into this styrofoam packing. And you're gonna have the stainless steel exhaust system also available in black. both with a carbon fiber tip. So it's fairly easy installation. I'm gonna start with your mid pipe. Uh, optional, but not needed. I would recommend putting some sort of light coat of anti-seize on this. Even that's too much. And just take that and smear that around. Just a very small amount. Otherwise it will leak out, kind of make a mess on the pipe. Go ahead and ins insert that into the header or into the muffler can and a small amount of anti-seize on both the outside and the inside of the mid pipe and drop the, the clamp, the exhaust clamp. I have the screw facing towards the bottom there. You may need to open it up a, a little bit to get it to fit. Have your hardware ready to go. There's a longer bolt that goes with the longer spacer and go ahead and rotate the header mid pipe so it lines up with the header that's on the, coming off the cylinder. You wanna take the longer header, I'm supporting the muffler from underneath. You could put a small amount of anti-seize on those bolts if you like, and just start them. And with the lower bolt, the shorter spacer, And as you can see, everything is loose. With any exhaust system, I'd recommend installing everything loose at first and just gradually tightening everything up to kind of get, get the pipe to seat in position without stressing any of the metal components on it. So take your T40 Torx driver, now that you have both the upper and lower bolt started. Start with the lower bolt. You can pull the exhaust away and get a little angle on here, or you could use a much longer T40 Torx. Definitely recommend starting with the bottom because the proximity to the muffler can is very low and close to your uh, driver. So at this point, I'm almost all the way torqued. Then we'll move on to the top one. And right now you can just move the exhaust around just a little bit. I want to just have it so I can position everything before I do a final torquing. An optional step that I like to do is take one of the original fasteners that held the original exhaust pipe. Since this front upper mount is not used, I just like to cap off the hole and I'll put the fastener right in there. So it just plugs the hole. And so that's one of the original exhaust pipe fasteners not used with this exhaust system. Next, you'll take the set of springs. They do have writing on them. I typically like to install it so you can see the writing. And start with it hooked onto the exhaust can, then hook it onto the mid pipe with your spring tool. And repeat with the bottom spring. Take your 10 millimeter socket and go ahead and torque the pair of fasteners that hold 
the nuts to the studs that are found on your cylinder head. And they hold the elbow header piece to, to the cylinder head. And go between the two. If you do have a torque wrench, you can torque those two about 11 foot pounds. They're rather small, seven millimeter uh, studs. And I'm just going between the two. I know the camera doesn't get it. So with the clamp that tightens down the mid pipe to the header, you wanna have the position just where it covers up the holes. So you can see there's a hole right there. So that's the approximate position that you wanna have the clamp. And I'm just illustrating this outside the scooter so you can get an idea of where the clamp should be. And then you could torque this header fastener right up to 10 foot pounds. So we'll start by hand tightening this clamp with the T40 socket and get it approximately into the position you want. And now that's hand tight, we can move on to our torque wrench that set the 10 foot pounds. I'm watching paint dry. There we go. Set your torque wrench to 16 foot pounds. and move on to these pair of fasteners here. And the, the more difficult fastener, 16 foot-pounds. And that pretty much sums up installation of the Acropovic exhaust system. Uh, you want to run it for about 100 miles and retorque all those fasteners, make sure Nothing's coming loose from several heat cycles. If you have the optional PMAC-01 shield, I'd recommend installation before you install the mid-pipe and muffler can. Or if you buy this after, you could of course remove the mid-pipe and the muffler can. So show all the steps on installation of this header heat shield. So take the pair of Tenderman clips and go ahead and slide them where they are centered right over each of the holes. And go ahead and put the clamp right over tie, top of this uh, flange right here. Um, we're just gonna leave everything loose at the moment. Next take the single three millimeter Allen out of this smaller clamp. And it's gonna take a little bit of work to get it over top of these muffler hooks. Don't wanna spread that too far out. You can put a small amount of anti-seize on these threads if you like. So I'm holding the clamp tight and getting the screw started. So at this point, all these parts are loose. Now it's time to resume installation of the muffler. So exhaust has been installed back on the bike. The larger camp clamp is currently loose right now, so I can move it around. Next, we'll install the smaller clamp, remove the screw, go ahead and just spread this open ever so slightly. You have this tang that points towards the rear of the scooter. I found this is the best way to do it. So while the clamp is at the top position, Hold the clamp closed and get your Allen key right in here. And I tried a couple different ways to install this. It seems like it's just best to do it while it's on the, the scooter. So the key important step is making sure that you get the, the screw started square with the, the nut that's integrated into the clamp. So very easy to cross thread something like this. And I have a little bit of uh, anti-seize -E on those threads. And at this point, you can position it. I'd recommend a standard L-shaped Allen key once you get the final position of these clamps. We're gonna go ahead and put the lower spring in place. We're gonna set up the heat shield with all the fasteners as needed. So included with the kit is a single screw, a large stainless steel washer, and a heat resistant graphite washer. 
I found the stainless steel washer is too large for these wells, so I'm not going to bother using that on the top, but it's very important to use the heat resistant graphite washer. So go ahead and, and start the screw and you want to get the screw started and just hold the washer. It's like made out of a carbon fiber or a, a graphite material. It's a pretty fragile washer and you just tighten the screw down onto the washer and almost all the way. So at this point, see how the screw rotates? Just go ahead and repeat with the other two positions. So the trickiest part of the whole install is this rear clamp because the resulting space where this uh, Allen key ends up is kind of behind the pipe. So we'll do most of the torquing with it where the screw is exposed, but it's just loose enough where I can rotate it around. And right there we have it fairly tight, but not as tight as we need to. And we'll go ahead and take our heat shield and just verify the location of all the fasteners. So you may need to flex the carbon fiber a little bit. And you see the profile of this matches the new style pipe. It may be possible to use this with the older Akrapovich pipes, but it's definitely specifically designed and engineered for the newer pipe. And once you get the front pair or the rearmost pair of screws lined up, you can move this clamp around and get it approximately lined up where the rearmost screw will catch the, um, the threaded boss that's in there. So we're pretty close right there. I could go a little bit more forward with it. And you could take the back of a handle, give it a couple little taps to move it around and double and triple check all your placement. Last thing you want to do is uh, stress this carbon fiber part and end up with cracks in it, especially after it's heat cycled several times. So we'll get the front, front pair lined up and we're pretty close on this rear one. Everything looks pretty good. Once you're happy with the positions of all three of the mounting points, you can go ahead and remove this and we'll go towards the back here with a small Allen key, three millimeter. I did show a larger Allen key originally in the video but I just find that the regular old Allen key works the best. And just take your time, go ahead and tighten this single screw here. It may take several steps to get it torqued. Keep in mind, it's a very small fastener. You don't need to over torque it. And as you can see, the top spring is not installed. And you may have a set of Allen keys that has a ball end on both sides. That may work easier for tightening this uh, small screw here. And there we go. Now you can put the topmost spring back in place. And now it's time to to install the carbon fiber fastener. I'd recommend putting a small amount of anti-seize in all of these threads here. You can either just dab a small amount into the threads. And I would always recommend wiping off the excess because typically it will just kind of leak all over the place, kind of make a visual uh, mess, doesn't really hurt anything. And yeah, with these fasteners, just, just get them all started. And the nice thing is the carbon fiber does flex quite a bit. And you'll be able to see the rearmost fastener, no problem. Looking at it from the front, front of the scooter here. So now they have all been started right here. No problems here. Just go between the three fasteners. And just snug each one of these screws. They do not need to be over tightened. You do want to come back and check all these fasteners after you run the, the scooter for about 100 miles. And the last step is the reach behind 
this clamp and go ahead and tighten the larger clamp. And if you want to torque it with a torque wrench, about 10 foot pounds is all you need to torque that to. So there we are. We're all done with the installation of the latest and greatest from Akropovic, Akropovic, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. Um, I just like calling it what I like to call it. Uh, you got the carbon fiber heat shield and the muffler. Keep in mind, this is also available in all black. Let's hear how it sounds. One thing to keep in mind, the first time you start it, it's gonna be rather smoky. And I would say for the first 10 miles of operation, it's gonna smell quite, quite a bit, burning off the residues from manufacturing. So you got it started. One thing I noticed about this pipe is very quiet compared to the prior generations, especially with the old generation with the, the baffle out. It's, you know, you can have this pipe rather loud but this pipe does not have a removable baffle like the previous generation pipe. It's just a little bit louder than a stock pipe, but does have a very nice exhaust tone. So if you're interested in this pipe, check them out on scooterwest.com. Look in the description of this video for all the part numbers for the tools and various accessories that go along with that Acropovic pipe. Until next time, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Check out all the other YouTube videos on the how-tos, accessories for both modern and vintage Vespas.